This is the KCRA 3 19. Corrections officials are calling it a crisis these days. Cell phones are getting smaller and easier for people to smuggle into California prisons. In a KCRA 3 investigation, Leticia Ordaz shows us how widespread this problem is and the new measures the prison officials are now resorting to to find these illegal phones. We'll find it. Demos is trained to find drugs. That's tar heroin. Nikki is an expert in finding tobacco. What you got? Show me. What you got? Now these canine officers are taking on a new job, sniffing out cell phones in prison cells and dorms. They know if they come into a housing unit, they're going to find something one way or another. They're being put to the test at the Richard McGee Correctional Training Center in Galt, where a mock prison has been stocked with electronics. It was uh, difficult, you know, finding out what substance made the phone unique. Once we discovered it and we were able to train for it. Correctional officers doing routine prison sweeps really took notice of cell phones popping up in California's prisons four years ago. Then 261 cell phones were confiscated from inmates. As cell phones have become smaller, uh, more compact, they're easier to sneak into the prison. Last year, nearly 7,000 mobile devices were found hidden in cells throughout the state's 33 prisons. It's out of control. And they're not being used to call home. Gangs um, who have turned into very sophisticated criminal organizations need to communicate just like any organization. Could it be deadly? Absolutely. Absolutely. Agents like Terry Rosencrans wants to make smuggling phones inside a prison a crime just like in Texas. And until we do something like that, you know, it's going to continue because there's really no um, reason why they should stop it. With no legal teeth, Sergeant Wayne Conrad was called out of retirement to start up the canine cell phone unit. Now, I've got people all the time telling me, you know, I don't think a dog can find cell phones, but they can. And uh, it works very, very well. It can take an officer up to 45 minutes to find hidden cell phones. Canines do the job in a matter of seconds. If it's there, the dog's going to find it. All of these dogs are being trained to eventually do cell phone searches of all 33 prisons in California. <laughs> In Galt, Leticia Ordaz, KCL Ray 3 reports. Now, the prison actually loaned us a couple of items to show you just how easy it is for prisoners to smuggle things. This obviously looks like a can of soup. You open up the bottom, and sure enough, small there you cell go. phone in there. You could also probably squeeze a charger in there if you're, if you're lucky. There's actually, yeah. Look more at that. Well, there you go. There. And yeah. check this out. Looks like some speed stick. How about some speed dial? You can just literally look at that. I mean, they're so small nowadays, you know, you can, they can just put them just about anywhere. So just uh, two examples of, uh, of what law enforcement's up against when they're trying to go in through and clean out all these cell, uh, cells of cell phones. Absolutely. And tomorrow night we're going inside 